A uterine fiber embolization is a minimally invasive a procedure performed to treat a very common problem that uh, women all over the world suffer from, which is uh, fibroid. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Mel Galib. I'm the uh, Chief of Interventional Radiology at uh, University Medical Center and a Clinical Associate Professor of Radiology and Surgery at Texas Tech University in El Paso. The gist of this uh, procedure is that the fibroids are being fed by a single blood vessel. So we try to get into that blood vessel, which is called the uterine artery. And then once we're inside of it, we go ahead and block the blood flow inside of it. And therefore, we are going to cause the fibroid to die and shrink because we stop its blood flow or blood supply. A fibroid is a benign uterine mass present in 25% of all women and causes symptoms such as excessive bleeding, painful uh, bleeding uh, during their uh, menstrual cycles, pelvic pressure or bloating uh, or uh, problems with urination, meaning going more frequently to the restroom. So it's a benign mass uh, which lives in the uterus uh, and causes all of the above symptoms. Five French sheath, perfect. Here we're seeing that uh, we have access into the patient's right groin uh, femoral artery. And the black tube that we are appreciating right there is what's uh, giving us access into the vessel feeding the fibroid. So the whole procedure is performed with this small plastic tube, which is actually smaller than the tip of this pen. Uh, again, there's uh, no cutting, there's no scars, there's no stitches whatsoever. Uh, everything is done through that catheter, uh, which is a few millimeters in diameter. This is done under fluoroscopic guidance, so this is not a blind procedure. Uh, we have uh, excellent machines here at this hospital, which allows us basically to visualize the inside of the body without having to open up the patients. Uh, and, and this is one example of it, where we can visualize the specific blood vessel to go to the fibroid. So uh, we are targeting basically only that vessel that feeds the fibroid. So it's like a smart bomb where we pick and choose the vessel of interest and only that vessel. Once we have an image confirming that we are inside of it, then we go ahead and block the blood flow of that vessel. On this picture, what we can see uh, from the right side in going up and above and then going down is a catheter, a plastic tube that is, uh, that is used to gain into the artery, uh, which is feeding the fibroid, which is this uh, pigtailed, wiggly, uh, black structures that we can see that looks like spaghetti for us and that's where the catheter is located and we injected x-ray dye or contrast and we are visualizing that vessel that feeds this large fibroid which is located right there and that is what is causing this specific patient's her symptoms once our catheter is inside of the blood vessel feeding that fibroid we're gonna stop the blood flow by injecting small tiny particles inside of this vessel which will prevent blood from reaching the fibroid and therefore the fibroid is gonna become devascularized and die. Hey, Pete, going in. Here once we gain entry into the vessel we're gonna go ahead and start injecting those tiny particles uh, which look like sand granules uh, inside of the blood vessel in order for us to uh, block the blood flow going to the fibroid. So this syringe here contains multiple tiny particles. They're hard to see with the naked eye, but that's what's gonna cause the blockage uh, or decrease the flow to the uterine fibroid. And once we inject them, like we're doing right there, that vessel is gonna be occluded. And once it's occluded, the fibroid is no longer getting its blood flow and it's gonna die. And that's what we're appreciating here on that screen. The other, the surgical counterpart will be one of two things, either a hysterectomy, total hysterectomy, meaning removing the whole uterus out under general anesthesia with a longer uh, recovery period and potential complications from surgery itself, or the other procedure will be called myomectomy, where they go in again under general anesthesia and try to scoop out those fibroids surgically. Unfortunately, with the second option, there's a high rate of recurrence, meaning the fibroids can come back uh, up to 40% of the times, whereas with this procedure, which is the latest state-of-the-art procedure, the rate of recurrence is less than 1%. So it has a good results, it's a quick procedure, it's safe, it's clean uh, with minimal downtime, and it's definitely cheaper uh, uh, from a financial standpoint. Uh, we have a 24-hour service, answering service. They can uh, just call us directly, uh, call the Intervention Radiology section, and we'll be more than happy to set up an appointment where we can describe the procedure more at length, answer any additional questions uh, potential patients uh, might have. And then uh, once all their questions are answered, we can go ahead and schedule an appointment for the procedure itself.